Hello, my name is Mark. I'm a poet and a teacher and a battle rapper, and I'm also the independent judge for this poetry escape competition uh, that young writers are running. Uh, I've been asked by them to talk to you guys about restraints, um, the kind of four key restraints that are being used in this uh, lesson outline. So, first off, number one, odes. Okay, so this is uh, this is my dog, uh, Boo. Um, you could write a, an ode to your dog. You could write a, an ode to anything that you love, really. An ode uh, has no strict rules apart from you'll often have similes and metaphors in there, and you will be kind of talking about how much you adore something. Um, so let's give it a go. Oh, Boo, you are as precious as the sun on a wedding day, your fur as soft as flattery, your breath as powerful as a, an evil despot. I adore your warmth, your kindness, your constant need to lick my chin like some kind of Ridiculous licking machine. Okay, that's fine. Yep, yeah, that, uh, that would be an ode. Restraint number two is a lipogram. Uh, it's, a, it's a type of writing uh, coined by the uh, Oulipo, a mostly French group of writers who believe that you should write with restraints. A lipogram is when you have to try and write without using a certain letter, often without a vowel, um, and, and you still have to try and say something that makes sense. So without um, E, you could say, Writing, scribbling, pouring out words, curious as to how a lipogram is built. Oh, this is difficult, isn't it? Yar. That's a lipogram. Um, so, okay, so the third restraint is haiku. We've done haikus before, right? They're kind of a Japanese uh, form of poetry where you have three lines. The first line has five syllables. <laughs> The second line has seven syllables and the third line has five syllables again. Uh, that's our restraint. We're trying to kind of count these beats of our words. My favourite haiku I can give you uh, is a haiku by the poet Byron Vincent. He's a mate of mine. Um, his haiku is called Elton John's favourite choice of lettuce. Goes like this. Elton hates iceberg. Spits scorn at evil lamb's leaf. He's a rocket man. I quite like that one. And finally, restraint number four is rhyming couplets, right? Nice and straightforward. Um, two lines that rhyme with each other at the end of the line. You can rhyme one syllable beats if you want to, you know, words like pen and hen and den and again, like that's fine. Or you can try and rhyme two syllables or even three syllables or four or five, see how many you want to match. Like I kind of like trying to rhyme lots of syllables uh, and stuff, but basically kind of, yeah, pairing up your rhymes and putting them dim, 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 dim. That was the end of my video on rhyming restraints. I hope that you liked it. I thought it was great. Now that it's over, um, I'd better fly. It's been lovely to see you all. Ta-ta. Goodbye. I don't know why I said ta-ta.